Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Velez, and today we'll be playing Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, part of Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Ain't that the most absurd theme song you've ever heard in a video game? Ugh, this sounds so absurd. Anyway, here's Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, and if you don't know who Alex Kidd is, he's Sega's former mascot during the Master System days. If you don't know what a Master System is, it's pretty much an early Sega console from the late 1980s. And I won a magic bracelet from the Rock, Paper, Scissors match. Oh, and be careful, because if you die, you lose the item you're using. The preferred strategy is to not use the weapon at certain points. Those things anyway, Chinese vampires? A blastin', a blastin', I'm blasting away these blocks. I can't believe I just said that. I may not have the staff, but at least I got the pendant. And you wanna know what this pendant does? Keep on watching the video and I'll tell you. Oh hell no. I don't wanna blow all my money away. Say, Alex, aren't you gonna eat that rice ball or something? Just to make you less bored, I'm fast forwarding these long rock, paper, scissors matches just for a damn dirt bike. I finally got the dirt bike. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm rolling around, driving around my dirt bike. How you like me now, suckers? For a Sega Genesis game, those are some realistic bone designs. Yeah, tell me about it. Who are you and what are you doing in my video? My name is Robot99, and I am from the future. And I just lost the platform. I'm afraid you're gonna have to accept the loss of that platform, son. Why did you call me son? You're not my father. Extra laugh for the win, y'all! Alright, trying to punch this porcupine. Wow, I am blasting away all these blocks! And all the money! I bet I'm smart enough not to hit that gray box on the top, because I've played this game before to know that gray box contains a shitload of bombs. Anyway, Robbot99, ever heard of Alex Kidd? What is this Alex Kidd you speak of? Is he from another dimension? And I 
just got the pedicopter. Ah, oh, yes, I can hear the waves of the sounds. Oh my god! Isn't that the most cringe-worthiest song you've ever heard in a video game? I can't take this any more. Oh my god, this song is so annoying. I feel your pain too. You don't see me complaining about it. I'm glad that's over. I'm glad now that cringeworthy song is over. By the way, Allie, have you played this game before? Sure multiple times. I got the squid all easy peasy. And with a block blasting, and I got the magic rice ball. Well, it's not really magic by any means. Does rice ball have any magic powers? I don't know. Some things just slip out. Whose idea was it to put treasure chests so high up? Don't blame me. It was the programmer's fault. Are you blaming the programmers? Blame the game designers. Robot99, would you mind? Affirmative. Well, that was weird. Anyway. Onto the game, and oh shit! Oh, the bombs! Oh, thankfully, I'm safe. I'm gonna turn off the magic bracelet because this part of the stage is the mother of all nightmares. Apparently this part of the stage is plagued by death clouds because I die by touching one of these scarabs or the eagle if I'm not properly kicking it right at the right moment. See that? I got killed by a scarab. Thankfully I have the magic bracelet intact.
You know what? I'm not gonna select the magic bracelet because... Oh, well, no, nah, never mind. I was going to not select it because this part would be a little too risky. This game is gonna fuck me over, let me tell you that much. Watch your lip there! Have you ever believed in professional courtesy? Robot! Back so soon? Okay, I'm going back to the future. Tell Marty and Doc that I said hello while you're at it. Here's a neat little strategy you might try while playing this game. If you're going to die and you're going to lose your item, just don't select it at all. Oh, not again with the bombs! Remember back when I first told you about the pendant? It makes a very important use. You'll never get past the fifth stage without it. Once you use it, you'll see what the opponent is thinking. Right here, like the Queen of the Oasis. August 20th, 1989, Alex Kidd defeats the Queen of the Oasis. What the hell are those things? Jason Voorhees lookalikes? With axes? Oh my god, this is like some kind of horror movie. Except it's in a forest. Okay, maybe it's not a horror movie, but it comes close to being one. Damn it, I just lost the bracelet already, because I died. So far I'm doing good, so far I'm doing good. Guess I'm in my last leg. Well, that's Alex Kid for you. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.